we want to determine the limit of the rational function as x approaches 2. Right away, notice how we cannot perform direct substitution because if we did, we would have division by 0, which is undefined. This does not mean the limit doesn't exist. Remember, we can sometimes factor and simplify a rational function so that we can then perform direct substitution. So if the discontinuity at 2 is removable, we will be able to simplify and then use a simplified function to determine the limit. So let's begin by determining if x minus 2 is also a factor in the numerator. If the numerator does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of negative 18 that add to positive 3 are positive 6 and negative 3. We'll notice how x minus 2 is not a common factor between the numerator and denominator, and therefore we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. We do not have an open point or removable discontinuity. So before we look at the graph of the function, let's determine the one-sided limits as we approach x equals 2. Let's first consider the limit of the rational function as x approaches 2 from the left. Now we can use either the factored form or the original form. I'm using the original form or the expanded form. So as we approach 2 from the left, our value is less than 2, the numerator is going to approach the square of 2, which is 4, plus 3 times 2, which is 6, 4 plus 6 is 10, minus 18, which is equal to negative 8. But because we're approaching from values less than 2, we are going to approach negative 8 from values that are less than negative 8. And the denominator x minus 2 approaches 0 as we approach 2 from the left or values less than 2. But because we're approaching from values less than 2, we are going to approach 0 from the left or from values less than 0. When we have a constant divided by a value approaching 0, it's either going to approach positive or negative infinity Notice here, because we have a negative divided by a negative, the value is going to approach positive infinity. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to positive infinity. And now let's consider the limit from the right of 2. The numerator is still going to approach negative 8, but now, because we're approaching from values greater than 2, it's going to approach negative 8 from the right, or again from values greater than negative 8. And the denominator of x minus 2 is still going to approach 0, but because we're approaching from the right or values greater than 2, the denominator is now going to approach 0 from the positive side or right side. So notice here, now we have a negative divided by a positive, and therefore the value is going to approach negative infinity. So because the limits from the left and right are not approaching the same value, we now know the original limit does not exist. Let's also verify these results by looking at a table of values and the graph. So beginning with the table of values, notice as we approach x equals 2 from the left or values less than 2, we can see the function values increase to that bound and approach positive infinity. This verifies our first one set of limit is correct. And as we approach 2 from the right or values greater than 2, we can see the values decrease to that bound and approach negative infinity, which verifies the second one set of limit which also verifies the original limit doesn't exist. And then looking at the graph, let's sketch a vertical line at x equals 2. As we approach x equals 2 from the left, we can see the function values increase without bound and approach positive infinity. And as we approach x equals 2 from the left, we can see the function values decrease without bound and approach negative infinity. So using all three methods, the original limit does not exist. I hope you found this helpful.